The northwest coastal areas of the United States have a quickly growing population and growing environmental consciousness. They're embracing renewable energy with support from major Wartzella flexible power plants. Portland is Oregon's biggest city with a metropolitan population of two and a half million. It's drawing an influx of young people with its lively culture and green values. Portland General Electric's Port Westward Unit 2 is enabling the state to balance more use of renewables. PGE chose Wartzella internal combustion engines for their flexibility, response time, and efficiency. The Wartzilla engines are both very responsive and highly efficient. They're more efficient than just about any other option for a 10-minute uh, response time from zero to base load. With that in mind, that drove to this type of technology, the internal combustion uh, engine. Studies of PGE's Beaver Combined Cycle Gas Turbine Plant indicate that as the Wartzilla engines handle the peaks, they enable the combined cycle gas turbines to run more efficiently. Thanks to this flexibility, the need for ancillary services has dropped, which has led to cost savings. Port Westward Unit 2 allows us to change our generation mix quickly. And in 10 minutes, we can bring 220 megawatts on. If something changes quickly, either a gas supply, a fuel supply, or the wind, or hydro conditions, or a thermal plant goes down, then we can respond and fill that void. Oregon is a very environmentally conscious and community conscious state. One of the things that, that we've done here is we've managed to provide power efficiently and quickly and still maintain very strict environmental compliance standards. Alaska is a land of extremes and extreme challenges for the energy sector, ranging from dramatic temperature changes to earthquakes. There are also huge load variations, swinging from winter peaks of 1,145 megawatts to as low as 50 megawatts during the warm, bright summer nights. The Matanuska Electric Association decided to build its own power plant, known as the Aklutna Generation Station. The plant consists of 10 Wartzilla 50DF internal combustion engines operating primarily on natural gas. We have 60,000 points of service that uh, needed service after December 31st, 2014. So that was the main driving factor. Uh, and the reason for the selection of smaller engines and reciprocating engines like we have was to add inertia to the system that we know was lacking with the smaller gas turbines that are going in uh, and uh, long-term sales to our fellow utilities who will need this kind of support, load following support. This is a dual fuel plant. All 10 engines can switch on the fly to diesel fuel. Normally they run in natural gas with a, a diesel fuel starting the combustion train, a small squirt of it. Uh, should the gas system be interrupted, and that's a long 100 plus mile, 20 inch line to the gas fields, uh, it could be interrupted by an earthquake or a, it crosses three big rivers and three huge faults, one of which caused the 1964 quake up here. Uh, for that reason, we chose dual fuel, but made a lot of sense to have Recip engines who could respond quickly, could start easily, had no start penalties, uh, and generally could follow the variable load that's in the rail belt and wind farms and things of that nature. Gas turbines can't be started that quickly. These engines can be started very quickly and up to full speed in as little as five to 10 minutes. Gas turbines take 20 to 40 minutes to get them going. Alaska has strict air quality regulations to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and protect its fragile wilderness. We looked first into the air quality requirements and we found that these engines could meet them with ease. I think we're actually putting out through the exhaust cleaner air than we're taking in through the intake system. We're using less ammonia than we anticipated and that means that the air is coming out of the engines a lot cleaner than, than we thought. The expanding communities of the American Northwest love and want to protect its majestic nature 
and are increasingly turning to Wartzilla for flexible, environmentally responsive energy.